ನಾನು ಸಂಗೀತ ನನ್ನಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮೈ ಬ್ಯಾಚುಲರ್ಸ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ ಅಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿರಾಮ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಟ್ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ವಿತ್ ಸಿ ಜಿ ಪಿ ಆಫ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿಕ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಟ್ ಅಪ್ರೆಂಟಿಸ್ ಟ್ರೈನಿ ಅಟ್ ರೆನಾಲಿಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆಟೋಮೋಟಿವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಐ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಗೇರ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲಿ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಚ್ ಹೌಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ಲಚ್ ಹೌಸಿಂಗ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಐ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಐ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಹಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ courses i was chosen to, to do a cae masters program at skilling under my cae masters program i have completed four courses till now which namely as solid works hypermesh ansa and ls china in solid works i completed two projects which is which are namely as american chopper and a private yacht in hypermesh and ansa i have completed many projects which are ranges from household articles to the industry level projects now i am going to highlight one of my cae projects which is more important and which is uh, more which was more difficult to complete this project named as uh, dashboard answer course this dashboard component is much more complex to complete this project because if you look into this project it almost contains many complex surfaces for any meshing people uh, will realize the uh, difficulties initially for any component uh, for a pre processing pre processing software we have to analyze whether the geometry is a symmetry or asymmetry now if you look into this dashboard component it is totally asymmetric component it is not having any symmetric properties about any axis and having a more number of complex structures that is uh, bending surfaces close to each other and having some projecting surfaces if you work on any cat softwares like solidworks cat ai we have to extract the geometry in uh, two output format that is igs and step file this dashboard component is initially imported into ansa software as a igs component which is uh, output for any so- cat softwares and input for a pre processing softwares like ansa and hypermesh i imported this file as a igs format and then work done on this component and make them to be a ansa component the next thing to do on the geometry is to clean up the geometry because after we importing the geometry into the pre processing softwares we found many difficulties some of the geometries will crack in some areas and some of the geometries or some of the surfaces will miss a detail like the errors will be in the model so that we should clean up the geometry using either manual or auto fixing ansa software we found a yeah, auto fixing when we are run the check for the geometry in the, using this tab there will be a notifications in status bar which will be the s yes or no that means if uh, s is a command the geometry is okay but if no is a command the geometry is not okay when we there is a no command when we right click on this it will show something this full bar after we clicking the the geometry will made okay using an inbuilt algorithm ansa software so mid surfacing the component we have to take all the features available in this component because we look at this surface having some bulged the upper face but it's not having some bulged the lower face in a very first uh, solid component so that we should take the upper surface for mid surface extraction so that we can have the bulge at this upper area if we took a lower it lower face of the solid then it will be it would be a flat surface at here and the bulge will be missing the next thing is the meshing procedures there are number of meshing procedures available which should uh, we should be properly keep the first thing is the mesh flow mesh flow uh, is nothing but we should make our mesh flow from the directions that means the mesh should be starting from the critical areas if you see there are number of holes and number of the surfaces which are bending very close range so that i consider this as a most complex area start of meshing this component from this side and move up to this position because if you look in for it there is a flat surface it is easy to miss the flat surface using pre processing software after i completing the meshing procedure at here i move to the surfaces which is here because it also contains some of the complex surfaces but not greater than uh, the complex from this side so i start a meshing this area first and mesh to this areas later and then i mesh this flat surfaces and next is the projecting surfaces if you see in this dashboard component this is a flat surface and some of the projecting surface that means the some of the features called as ribs they are in the dashboard we have to take the full surface for the ribs and make the ribs to coincide or the point where the projecting surfaces and the flat surfaces are having a contact so it is recommended to mesh this projecting surfaces initially later we 
should go for meshing the flat surfaces this is one of the more important component so the fillet regions are nothing but the curving curve regions which connecting to perpendicular surfaces or inclined surfaces at the fillet regions we should not have any trios because if we have trios it will not allow the loads to be transmit in this direction that means interior to this component it will have the stress or strain at there only it will not allow the load to propagate in this direction and what the next thing is that surface splitting and joining this is the most important thing we have to be in mind surface splitting and joining is nothing but when we face some complexities in meshing this area or split this surface into a different comp or uh, different stuff that means we should split the surfaces with many number of cons so that we will match the quads or match the surfaces with the less number of trios for example i took this surfaces not that surfaces or uh, other uh, surfaces this is the surface i chose in a dashboard component surface fields because uh if you mesh this surface directly using a single surface meshing that means auto uh, mix auto uh, mesh it will create number of trios fit the surfaces into many compound uh, using many cones and then i mesh so that the number of trios available at here is zero and the trios are moved to this uh, corner edges using surface splitting and surface joining we can eliminate number of trios the preposition in areas that means in a mesh meshing areas later then we have to check a quality criteria because any industry provide a minimum minimum element length and maximum element length uh, if you see here this element is having a length which should be in in the range of the assigned quality criteria and this element should have the proper angle of quad and this is a trio element if it is trio it should have a minimum and maximum trio angle and if it is a quad angle it should have a minimum and maximum quad angle uh, with respect to the assigned quality criteria and the connections connections uh, is done after the meshing uh, after the meshing procedure is completed we should not uh, left any spaces uh, like this to be unfilled we have to make this space with some uh, with some connection connections or connectors uh, we should make this gap uh, filled because if we go for the simulation process and if this gap is uh, left unfilled uh, it would create a problem or uh, this node will be propagate to any face and the graphics user face user interface and the output after completing all the meshing areas meshing procedures and the connection procedures uh we will take it at the output this dashboard component will be take as the output for the simulation purpose using a solving software like ls dyna nastron and abacus uh the support from the skilling team is a uh, much important for me to complete the project whenever i contacted my mentor and instructor they immediately contacted me to help me to sort out the problems i i have to complete this project in answer goes mr david david at skilling had helped me a lot uh, in this project especially for this project he helped me a lot to uh, overcome the errors i had and the uh, overcome and to overcome the quality criteria i faced at this area where the elements are failing for bar page angles and some of the maximum and minimum element length categories like that and for hypermesh course uh, mr sakti will had helped me a lot uh, to know about the concepts which are available in the meshing techniques how to overcome the errors uh, in my models all my mentors and instruct and instructors provide me a solution either through a phone call or a, through a whatsapp text or through a video session in a video session when i ask a doubt if the doubt is much more important for them they immediately uh, contacted me to have in a section so that my doubt will reach my colleagues and all the doubts for my colleagues will reach me uh, either of my doubts will reach colleagues or colleagues doubts will reach me the zoom session at uh, providing the skilling team is much important for me to know about many concepts from all my colleagues uh, to my fellow students and my colleagues i would recommend the things uh, to be follow while studying these courses at skilling uh, if you have doubts in any of your softwares or any of your challenges you should directly contact them because they are always willing to help you and sort out the doubts uh, you have in your mind uh, and the second thing is that 
you have to initially analyze the component whether what the question is asked and the what the objectives to be done first we have to analyze the component then you find out uh, the way to obtain the the way to achieve the objective uh, so that you can easily attain the objective don't uh, go directly into the model and directly into the to finish your challenge with a faster manner uh, go at a slow pace and find out what are the problems and what are the errors will be there sort it out in your own or if you have any doubts directly contact the instructor or the mentor so that they can help you either through the phone call or through the video session in front of others